joined with our dear friend Phil Vickery in the kitchen for a weekend favourite. And we are in a very happy place right now. <laughs> you haven't tried it yet, you might be awful. It doesn't matter. But well, it's Phil Vickery, you know it's always going to be good. good. Do, he's no. just a cook, just and he's the cook. best cook ever. That's all I do, is just to cook. Right, here it is. So, roast chicken, they said to me, just do a roast chicken, Summer, as in the bosses. Now, I quite like um, pot roasting chickens. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you the reason why. It's controllable, you get a beautiful flavour. Yeah. You, if you overcook it slightly, it's not too much of a problem. Whereas if you roast a dish and it can be overcooked, it can go very, very Big dry. Big French dish, isn't it, on a Sunday? They... Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a sharing dish. Yeah. So when we had the restaurant, we used to put whole chickens out on the table and you'd help yourself on the table. Really? Yeah, I love that. that. Like butler service. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. So, in this pan here, I have chicken that I've popped into the oven at 220 degrees. Now, you don't need to brown the skin. We'll come on to this in a second. But it's up to I you. I beg your pardon. <laughs> uh, as a child, my mum used to boil chicken, so I'm used to that simmered chicken, which I love, with garlic, mayonnaise and new potatoes. And yeah. Stuff. If you want to get some colour, 220 degrees in the pan, a little bit of oil, so it gets a bit of colour, just like that one there. You, see oh, that? you don't have to do that. That's completely up to you. <laughs> but it's a very, very simple recipe. So to that, I've got here a selection of red peppers, onion and the onion, Yellow pepper, green pepper, courgettes, whatever you want. It's like a stew, isn't it? It is. And I've got, I had some haricot beans in my fridge at home, uh, yeah. in my cupboard, I should say. So I've got a tin of haricot beans. And all you do is just spoon those all over the chicken like that. The veg is so tasty. Mm. It is, because this is the point. All that juice, all that flavour is staying in that pot. It's not going anywhere, it's not yeah. evaporating, it's staying in there. Now, I do add two crumbly stock cubes, mm -hmm. chicken ones. In they oh go. Goodness. A touch of, a little touch of water, just to get a bit of steam into there. Because mm -hmm. pot roasting is part steaming, part roasting. OK. And I do have here, and I make no, no shame about this, two complete heads of garlic. Quite right. Cut in half. Get them right? in there. Now, there is a very famous French dish which has uh, chicken with 40 cloves of garlic. You think, oh, that's, it's, you know, that's a lot. But when you cook garlic this way, yeah. or you roast it, the, that acidity and that pungency dim diminishes around about 80%. So in that dish there, you can see whole garlic cloves. See those? But I can't taste the garlic. No, because you've steamed them. So it oh. takes it of that acrid, oh. really pungent, like almost like garlic bread flavour. So you get a very soft, sweet flavour. So what you do is you put those garlics into there like that. Uh, a salt, a bit of pepper. If you want to use jarred or frozen garlic, that's up to you. But it's tiny little pieces. I'm not quite sure if you can get garlic cloves which are whole frozen. You probably can. Right. In which case, put them round. Just chuck them in, frozen, be fine. Bring that to the boil. Into the oven. Now, I've turned the oven down to 200 now. Now, you yeah. can actually cook it on top of the stove, just gently simmering it. Really slowly. Really slowly, so yeah. it catch, because you've got moisture in there. I put it in the oven. 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to do this. I yeah, think it's so easy. easy. Now, right. it will come out, looking like this one here. Lid on, right? Lid on. Now, this one here. I'm, I'm simmering that for the, re the reason why I'm doing that. I'll show you in a second. 45 minutes later, and bear in mind, the whole chicken, whether it's the legs, breast, the spine, will all cook at the same time. So you get that lovely, juicy... As you can taste there, everything is so cooked at the same. Lovely. So what you need to do is I've, just, I've taken some of the garlics out. We'll come back to and I'll show this one in a second. You then lift out the chicken, like so. Two What's forks. that? Like, like how big would that chicken be for four? Uh, that'll be four people. That's around about nine hundred grams per yeah. kilo, something it's like that. Not huge. Uh, but if four people, remember. Yeah, it's good. So it's fine. Now what you need to do, put the chicken there, and I just want to turn this heat back on. Now, this is where that flavour comes from with the vegetables that you've just spoken about. So if I turn up, you'll see it simmering there. Look at that. So I've put the garlic back into there. We'll come back to that for a second. I want to show you this here. This is the garlic, so I've left one. And what you do is you turn that, piece, that garlic over and just press that down with a fork and you'll see all oh, the garlic cloves just oh, pop out. That. Pop out. There you go. There's one just there. Take the, it comes out the skin really easily like that. Discard that, and that garlic goes back into there. So all that flavour's in there. Now, if you get a bit of liquid like I've got there, probably about half a litre, if you want to simmer that just for two to three minutes, that reduce that down and it'll intensify that flavour even more. Especially with things so like tasty, vegetables. Yeah. yeah. So here, then I've got spinach here. Frozen worked equally as well. I'm just using fresh fish. Um, I thought we'd do something slightly different. As much spinach as you like into there. All you're doing is wilting that spinach. And in the time that we're talking now, hopefully that will work. Frozen spinach is so good, isn't it? Yes, fact. it is very good. And um, 
A little goes a long way. You don't yeah. have to, from frozen pucks. So if you were to put that in there, I'd put six frozen pucks in there. Yeah. And just let them dissipate and they'll dissolve in. Yeah. I love minutes. using the freezer for vegetables. Well, it's, great. it's such a good idea, yeah. isn't it? Years it ago. It, so much longer. It, yeah, absolutely. And years ago it was demonised and it was a bit like, oh, it's a bit dodgy. But yeah, no, I'll tell not. you what, frozen peppers, call it. Yeah. That's fantastic. Now, I do cheat here slightly. Oh, all right. I've got daughters. Dad, why are you making gravy? <laughs> just using gravy granules. Huh? So there we go. So I'm just using a little bit of gravy granule here, or oh, starch. Nothing wrong with that every now and again. Or a little it? bit of flour. And we're literally, a tablespoon is enough. I'm going to turn that heat off now, and that will thicken that stew beautifully, as you can see in the, the way we're talking. Back of the chicken. Now, what I'm going to do is the only I final thing I'm going to do. We love it because we're not saying anything. <laughs> The only final thing is... So rare for us. I do add... I literally haven't heard you say a word for, like, five minutes. <laughs> so rare that ever happened. I <laughs> so nice. Afternoon. <laughs> I do add lots of lemon juice. So that cuts the richness of the ch chicken, because, you know, it's, it's quite a rich dish. And then pop that into there like that. And I'm just going to serve this up now. Even in that couple of seconds that we've been talking or chatting, and then I'm going to just put this on here and you'll see... You have that lovely, oh. thickened... Look how pretty that is. Imagine, no, like, you've got uh, the people flavor. coming over to your house, put that in the middle of the table. The Help yourself, everybody. The flavour oh. is amazing. Now, what you don't want to do is stick it too far. Now, the great thing about pot roasting chicken is... Let me just take this off here, you'll see. Take off this string and you don't have to carve it. You can pull it apart. So, fold it over, just make oh, a little... Oh, gosh, yeah, it's so tender. Look at that. Just done. Just goes on to that. Oh, how do you do the potato? I don't know if got... Come on to a second. It's, just... it's, it's unbelievable, isn't it? So you just put this apart. He knows what he's doing. Has to be in a minute. There's the chicken. Now, potatoes. What I've done is cut this potato, washed in the skin, into quarters or eighths, into a pan of boiling water, up to the boil, take them off, in the oven, 200 degrees, salt and pepper, a bit of rosemary. Turn them once. My mum used to call them half and halfers, because you cut them in half and half again. There you Perfect. go. Perfect. Now, you spoke about chicken skin. There you go. No. So I did use some crispy no, chicken I've skin. Done that for you. Now that is. Have a oh, taste. Thanks, Dad. Oh, you're so lovely. Absolutely lovely. That you, was fantastic. Oh you could you could put chicken breast in your thighs. Even frozen portions would actually work quite well. But you need to make sure you cook them through. Chicken's gonna be simple. Most times you take the skin off and throw it away. I just laid out a piece of bacon That's parchment. That's a lovely dish. Salt and pepper cooked in. Try some. I always look try forward to it. Try that. Later, in the break. Are you sure? <laughs> in the break. That is there too you go. much. Phil, oh, brilliant. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. All the details of Pleasure. today's recipes and more delicious ideas from other morning chefs. Just head to the free this morning app. Uh,